this is Dr. Ann Crochet. How do I store my crochet hooks? That's really a good question. So, I realized that I couldn't make pouches for all of them because there's just too many. Um, so I decided that the furrows, those are the ones I wanted to guard more because they cost more. Uh, on average, they're $24 to $26 uh, per hook. And that's, yeah. And honestly, they don't have any more. That was $46 a hook. I only managed to get one of those before they stopped making them. So I was presented with a problem because I didn't want to leave them in the boxes because the boxes are sort of hard to get in and out of. They got little NIMBY uh, lids that I have complained about forever. But it's just a complaint. Uh, so I decided to make a pouch for my furrows. And, it, and the reason I did that is because I didn't want them in a binder or in a hook folder type thing where they like collapse on each other and rub up against each other. I didn't want that. I wanted to protect the hooks as much as possible. So I came up with this design right here, the little pouch. Uh, it's not necessarily my design. I've seen it done before for hooks, a little more fancy with flowers and everything. Well, I'm not a flowery type of person. I like black and white. So either my pouches are gonna be uh, black with white trim or white with black trim. That's just how, how I am. I just like those two colors. Oh, I like purple, but uh, no, I'm not putting a hook in purple. But um, uh, I've come up with a template that I use to make the pouches with and I decided to use felt as the material because it was nice and soft. And when I store them in my hook box, I stand them up so they don't be like compressing against each other. Don't want that. Want to protect the hooks. So let's see what I got because I just finished four sets of pouches and I got several hooks that need to go in here. But before I do that, I got to separate them according to the styles. I'm going to take them out and I'll be back. Okay, I got everything laid out. And I kind of got everybody sorted out by style. And that's the way I put them in the pouch. And I counted 49. And I said, wait a minute, I miscounted because they're 50. Well, one was in my cup because I'm using it. This one. So that makes 50. And it goes with this set right here. Hmm. Okay, now as far as the pouches go, each pouch holds eight. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 64 hooks that it'll hold. Pardon me, I had to throw my cat out the room. She got to rub it on stuff and it's not good for recording, especially when she was rubbing on the tripod. Okay, so I have 50 hooks, I have 64 slots, and there's my template. I can make more. And trust me, I'm gonna need more because I'm thinking about uh, since furrows have hit a dry spot, just about everything is sold out. I might have to turn to somebody else. I'm thinking about Old Fire Co. I'm thinking about trying to fill it in. But we'll see. So, hmm. I'm going to try to put them in according to style. And usually when I put them in according to style, 
I start with the smallest one and go to the largest. So let's see. Here's one, I don't think this is, this is like one of the older ones. And let me see who's the smallest, who's the largest, well definitely the smallest. And working my way up. That one. Look. That one. And that one. And that one. Okay, it didn't quite fill everything up. So I need to find something that's got just two. And the cream ones have just two. So I can put, let's see. Six point five and seven. And what I do is the opposite end of wherever I put the tie, I just roll. Give it a little tie. Some of these ties aren't quite long enough. I might have to replace them. There's that. And I'm going to keep on until I get them all finished. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, everybody's rolled up with these last three. Now I put the little notch in here so I can see who, who's in what. Set out a space for one, two, three, four, five, thirteen more hooks. Let's see. Everybody's protected. I'm sure by now you say, well, she's just protecting those because they cost more. Well, yes and no. Yes, I'm going to protect them because they cost more. But I protect all my hooks. I see your crochet hook as an investment. And I'll show you. Whenever possible, I leave the hooks in the original packaging. If they come with a pouch, I leave them in the pouch. If they don't have that, I put them in cellophane bags. Now the really big ones can't do that. I'm gonna have to buy something for them. Probably make a little holder. We'll see, cause I got some really big ones. The way I see it, if you take care of your hooks, when you go to use them, they'll take care of you. Until my next hook collection update, y'all keep sweet. Toodles.